Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very soon. Folks, what I want to share with you today, you cannot make this stuff up. What I'm going to share with you today, folks, it is right out of the book of Revelation. What I'm going to share with you today is something that was just said at the World Economic Forum's summit that is currently going on in Davos, Switzerland. Listen to this. We're developing through technology an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Hmm. Stay tuned. We don't have it operational yet, but this is something that we're working on. Did you hear that, folks? In case you didn't, again, Alibaba Group President Michael Evans just boasted at the World Economic Forum Summit about the development of an individual carbon footprint, footprint tracker to monitor what you buy, what you eat, and where and how you travel. Why is this so significant? Because, folks, this again, this is right out of the book of Revelation. We are told during the coming empire of the Antichrist, the coming beast system, according to Revelation chapter 13, there will be a system in place where they will be able to track and monitor everyone. In Revelation chapter 13, after the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ, and during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, there is coming a time uh, where a man known as the false prophet, who's basically going to be uh, the right-hand man of the future Antichrist, this is what he's going to do in verse 16 to 18 of Revelation chapter 13. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is a number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. Or simply put, six, six, six. So folks, during this coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, again, the rapture of the church of Jesus Christ will occur before the Antichrist is revealed and before the tribulation period begins. However, during this coming tribulation period, right, uh, when this beast system is going to be implemented during the tribulation, the false prophet will cause everybody, it doesn't matter who you are, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And anyone who takes this mark in their right hand or in their forehead will be pledging allegiance to this beast system. They will be pledging allegiance to the Antichrist himself. The amazing thing is, folks, during this coming beast system, they will be able to track everybody. You will not be able to buy or sell or go about your everyday life unless you have the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. Now, the technology was not there for something like this in previous generations, but it's here now, right? And what you just heard, right? What he just said at the World Economic Forum further proves that the technology is there, folks. They said they're getting ready for it. And again, this is all about being able to track everybody because during this coming beast system, they're going to be able to track everybody. Again, they did not have the technology for something like this in previous generations, but it's here in our face now. But the fact that he came out and said again that the development of an individual carbon footprint tracker to monitor what you buy, what you eat, and where and how you travel is in development right now, folks. This is wild. Again, this just further proves they're getting ready for this future beast system. I had to share this with you when I saw this today. You can't make this stuff up. Please share this message. If you're doubting that the Bible is real, that the Bible is the word of God, just look around this world right now at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. And you will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very soon. This current world order it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. 
I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very soon. God bless you all.